All right, let's go to crude oil. All right, so what we have is we have market profile to the left. This is natural support and resistance. I have two Renko bars. I have a long-term chart and a short-term chart. I'm a longer-term chart, a shorter-term chart. The parameters are already built in this. We do not take all arrows. Every arrow that fires off, we do not take. How we want to trade it is we want to look for the first cross of the shorter-term MA through the longer-term MA, and we're looking for the first retracement. So crude today, we haven't had one yet this morning. This is the last one this morning we had. That's your first cross retracement. So what we want to do is we want to look for a first cross retracement trade. So if I look, here is the MA cross yesterday into the uh, close, I mean last night. There's your MA cross, shorter through the longer term MA trend filter. You went for the first retracement, and that was our big trade yesterday. At the, near the close here. So look for the MA cross, first retracement. When the arrow fires off, look for market delta right below here to close red. When it closes red, you can open up your position. That's how you want to trade the system. Right now, we didn't have one this morning yet. It crossed over earlier here, so here's a buy signal. The last buy signal was here on the short time frame. Long time frame has not had a trade yet today. We have not had a trade yet today on long time frame because the first cross was back here. It's the best way to do it, the first cross, and then you take the retracement. So that's how we want to trade it. So sell signals. Sell signals, look for the cross, look for the retrace. Oops, got the wrong chart up. Sell signals, look for the cross, first retracement sell. This morning, the last buy signal we had was right here. That's a first retrace. Don't worry about these additional arrows unless it lines up on market profile. You want the first cross retracement. This is not a cross retracement. So it's not a buy setup. We don't have a buy setup yet on the short-term chart or long-term. For buy setups, here's another short-term cross. The cross down, there was a sell yesterday at 9.30 in the morning. The sell, it's a short retracement on the first one. Wait till market Dilla turns negative. Stop, it's two ticks above the swing high. The size of the arrow don't matter, red or green. On a buy retracement, here's another sell signal. Real bit, these trades are, are, are quite large on some of them that cross. It may cross, first retracement. Look for first retracement of buys and sells. That's what we're looking for. So we don't have a trade yet this morning on crude. This did not cross that across up earlier. These arrows are not buy and sell signals yet. We have not had any trade on crude yet. It's got a cross through, look for the first retracement. That's the, that's the best trade for you to take. Very, very easy. It works on all markets that way. Okay, Gerald, go over to gold real quick. So when I look at gold, it's the same thing. It's all markets. It's really easy concept. Here, if we look at the cross down, I mean cross up in, in gold, here's your last buy signal. It crossed through, look for the first retracement, it's that easy. Don't make this difficult because the arrows show the sweet spot in the market. They show the sweet spot to look for retracement. Had a huge trade in gold yesterday also. There's your cross, there's your first retracement short with negative market delta. So you can see, you can use that on all markets, it doesn't matter what it is. If I look for a buy signal, there's your cross, your first buy signal, doesn't matter. Here it is again. Look at the cross. Look at your first buy signal, sell signal there. It's a real big one there also. It happens like this on all markets. doesn't matter what market it is. 
Now I have a 6M and a 5SIM. Here it is, here it is again. Whoops, I'm going to go that back far, but you can see that that's what you want to do. Cross, first retracement, arrow, negative market delta. The arrows are already programmed for you, guys and gals. The arrows are already programmed for you to catch these swings. So you can cherry pick trades by waiting for a cross, looking for the first retracement arrow, buy and sell. You cherry pick all these trades just by doing that. Now I have a six and three up because three catches the counter moves, six catches the trend moves. So make sure market delta confirms though. If I get a cross and then a first error retracement, look for delta to confirm below the chart. It should turn green for buys, close green, and close red for sells. And then I want market delta to continue in your direction by four bars. It should be four green or four red. If not, I'll take a small loss or small profit. That's the key. You want to do that. You want to look for first cross, first retracements. Like look at gold right now, Gerald. Look at gold. There's your first cross. There's your first green arrow. There's green market delta. But gold's pretty much flat as a pancake right now. I mean, look at the trend filter. It's pretty much flat, but that tells you what you want to try to get into. You're going to catch some nice trades like this. Okay, so that's the premise of what you should concentrate in all markets. Now, if you want to do a longer time frame, you want to do a longer. If you want to do a longer time frame, you can do that. You're able to do if you want to do longer than a six. You're more capable of doing that if you like taking less signals. But if these do not repaint, they show you. But the basis for trading, the easiest trade to look for, and members know how to do a market structure breakdown. I did a video on that. The main basis for trading is cross, look for the first retracement.